So Monte Carlo is leaving us. We're gonna get a cold start. I'm gonna go do a few more burnouts out there. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, it is a sadder video because the Monte Carlo is leaving us. Now, if you've been around the channel for a while now, you probably know this time of year is why it leaves us because, well, simply put, it goes into storage for about anywhere from mid-November, it's late November right now, so it's pretty shocking until late March usually. So it's gone for a while. And today's video is gonna be the first video we ever really made on us putting it in storage pretty much. This year, it's not going in the barn. You won't, you guys can't see it, but it's on the other side of the motorhome. It's not going in that barn. There's no room this year. So it's gonna be going in a storage unit that I rented. I know, sadly, it has to go in a storage unit. But hey, it's better than it sitting out here right now where it's at. Because I don't like it sitting outside. Even if I had a cover over it, the cover will freeze to the car. I just don't want that. We're gonna get a cold start. I'm gonna go do a few more burnouts out there. Just that, That's what I do every year usually. I do like at least one burnout before it goes away, like the day of before it goes away. So we're definitely gonna do that. But obviously she's been sitting for like a week. Let's cold start this thing. Ooh, it's chilly. It's about like 45 degrees out right now. Same, honestly, in comparison to sometimes when it's real cold and that's started in a while, it'll blah, it'll it'll clap before it actually turns over and well, before it actually starts. I'm gonna get the GoPro on my head. We're gonna drive out to hopefully a decent spot. We'll do the final burnout before it goes away. This will be a shorter video, just letting you guys know. But I just wanted to make it. We never made one of it actually going away. We usually just make one of it coming out of storage, which there will be one of those when it does come back out of storage. So let me get the GoPro on my head. We'll get that Johnson to spin them somewhere out yonder, and then we'll put her into the storage unit. Is it recording? I believe so. Yeah. Woo. It's always a sucky time of year when this thing's gotta go away. As of right now, the Trans Am isn't done. As you guys have seen in the previous video, you haven't go check that out. It's getting closer to being done, but it still ain't done yet, sadly. As of now, this is all I got for when it comes to, you know, the car, the car I take pride in here. <laughs> and it has to go away for half the year. Same thing will happen to the Trans Am once it's done, obviously. It'll have to go away for half the year. It's just kind of how it is out here in Ohio. Let's get on the road, go spin them, and then go to the storage unit where pretty much putting it in its grave for the next six months. So let's get this. I think I know possibly a road I could go to. I already live in the middle of nowhere. So it's like one of those things where it's like, yeah, there's not a lot of people here, but then you go to the, the certain roads and yeah, there's no people here. Pretty much the second I see that, the second I see them start putting like the, uh, it's not salt, it's like the brine or whatever, which is even worse than salt for cars. It, it literally eats the metal quickly. The salt will take its time. This shit will just, yeah, it'll just start, it'll look like a sun chip in about 20 seconds. Should be I. Too bad there's no crops up anymore. Everybody's gonna see my fat cloud. Shit. all year pretty much. Oh, it's coming out the vents. Oh shit, buddy. Oh, these are fresh tires, I forgot. I rotated the tires halfway through the year and I forgot. I don't think I ever did, because it had really good tires on the back and poop ones up front. So I don't think I ever actually rotated them. The 
Yeah, I think the tires are broken in now. Okay guys, we're off to the storage unit. This is the first time, I think, ever, we've ever filmed the car going into storage, which is kind of crazy. We've never filmed it before. It's, it was usually at that barn right next door right there. It's my uncle's house, but it was full this year. So I was like, crap, where, where am I gonna put this thing? Cause I ain't letting it sit outside. I'm not doing that at all. No way in hell. I'm like, what if I just rent it? Cause right here in town, there's some storage units that are up for rent. I'm like, you know what? I think I'll just rent one of those. It should be good. So we got a 20 by 10, which should be able to fit this and possibly a project you guys are gonna be seeing coming up here in a little bit. I'll give you guys a hint. It's a two-stroke. I know, really weird. It's a two-stroke out of an airplane, the engine is. It's a two-stroke engine that came out of an airplane. We'll just put it like that. Maybe where you live, it doesn't you know, get crappy half the year, possibly. But where we live, it gets junk, garbage half of the year. So it has to go away for storage. I think the best way to get there without going over any salted bridges for the most part. I don't know. I'll pick you guys up when I get there. guys so as you can see well, a storage unit is barely big enough to fit it in it and like I said in the video we were gonna put a few more things in here but I don't know we'll have to see if we can really fit it in here honestly just be a process of squeezing stuff and seeing what works so close her down last time you guys are gonna see her for like probably six months Let's hope for a nice clean time. 